Yeah, hello and welcome to another short episode of Spielworks News. My name is Uli Blenemann and I hope that you are all well. So I'm very excited about one event and on May 26, so that's Friday, two days from now at 4 p.m. CET, Central European Time, um, Odis and Mike's El Burro, El La Granja game will go live at GameFound and slightly later also live at Spieleschmiede, a German crowdfunding site. And as I said, I'm really, really excited about it. And here's a photo from the game board. Let me show it. No, not from the game board, from one of the farm boards here. You see it and they are double layered so that you can put in um, wooden pieces in there and they do not shift. So um, what makes El Boro special? What are its features? So first of course it is the second game in the very popular La Granja family of games. It is slightly more complex than La Granja but it's, in my opinion at least, it is also even more exciting. It uses, like La Granja, the popular dice drafting mechanism, and it includes, in contrast to La Granja, two different farm decks, so farm card decks, so the standard normal ones and special ones. And in addition, in El Burro, each player has their own deck of donkey cards and it allows deliveries from your farm all the way to the port of Parma and El Bo has excellent variety and replayability due to the different card decks and it uses the beloved multi-purpose cards just like in La Granja and it is great with two, three or four players or even with one player, the solo mode, which is really very challenging. And please note, there will be an English language edition and a separate German language edition of El Burro El La Granja game, because of all the cards and they use text. And let me briefly show you some of the components. So I will um, show you the rules booklets and we can take a look at some of the key components of the game. Just a second here. So what you see here is the uh, game board of La Granja, uh, of El Bobo El La Granja game. So you see here the racetrack to the port of Palma where the boats are waiting. This is a reward board. The game includes a ton of wooden pieces and quite a few are screen printed. Then each player has his farm board over here. It's double layered and you could put cards on to the left, top, right and below. Then of course we have farm cards. As I just said, there are two different kinds. So the normal standard ones and special ones here mainly useful in the end game. Then we have the stable board. Each player has a stable board for donkey cards and for some improvements and bonuses. Then of course here are the uh, donkey cards. There is one back printed bonus rondel tile which gives you bonuses per game turn. Then we have farm extension tiles, wooden screen printed market bonus tiles, bon um, wooden screen printed. There are achievement tiles, wooden screen printed, game round tiles. So in each um, game round, there is a bonus. And of course, per game round, there are several. So also added variety. The boats are wooden and um, screen printed and double sided. Each player has a support marker. Plus tiles are included, of course, the dice silver coins and play aids and a local market covering tile. So there is a lot in it, but this is just for the two, three or four player game because the solo game has additional materials. So the solo reward overview, 
solo farm board which is slightly different as you can see here solo stable board slightly different and then the solo game round cards they tell you what the solo player what leon uh, with a donkey is doing so that are is the back side of the cards special solo farm cards which you see here solo farm good tiles solo farm extension solo transport bonus tiles and here you can briefly see that the game comes with three um, different levels of difficulty simple so medium one and ambitious difficulty and there's also another variant which makes it really really tough to play well solo or to win solo and El Boro, a La Granja game, is not an inexpensive game, but you have seen there are, there is a ton of goodies in the box. So I'd be really happy if you would check out the game starting this Friday on GameFound and on Spieleschmiede. This means a lot to us, so thank you very much in advance. Bye bye.